Hi, I'm Veena and I'm sure all of you are enjoying the festive season as much as I am. Partying, eating rich food, attending weddings and gorging literally. And so I thought today I should share with you a couple of healthy recipes and to begin with I'm going to show you how to make Kabuli Chana chaat. So to know how to make Kabuli Chana the tasty way, keep watching. Today we are going to make Kabuli Chana chaat and let's look at the ingredients that go into making it. One bowl of Kabuli Chana, this is how the dry chana looks like. This was soaked for 6 to 8 hours and then boiled for 10 minutes and this is how the boiled version looks. One medium sized onion finely chopped, one medium sized potato boiled, peeled and chopped into small pieces, one tomato cut into small pieces, one teaspoon of chaat masala, half a teaspoon of red chilli powder, half teaspoon of jeera powder, salt to taste, one inch piece of ginger finely chopped, two green chilies finely chopped, a few coriander leaves, juice of lemon to taste, tomato slices and capsicum slices for the decoration or garnish. I'm first going to put in the boiled kabuli chana into this bowl, boiled potato, chopped onion, now that I've put the basic ingredients of chana, onion and potato, I'm going to add the flavoring and spices. So I'll begin with putting the ginger, then the green chilies, half a teaspoon of jeera powder, half teaspoon of red chilli powder, one teaspoon of chaat masala and salt to taste. Now that I have added all the dry spices, I'm going to end by putting in tomatoes which will give us color and taste and the reason why we add tomatoes last is because they tend to get a little watery. So I'm now putting in the tomatoes, some coriander leaves and juice of half a lemon and we'll now mix everything together so that all the spices are well blended and evenly spread out. Kabuli chana chaat is now ready and I'm going to serve it. I'm now going to garnish with our capsicum slices and tomatoes. I'm just going to garnish this now with a few coriander leaves and we are ready to serve. My Kabuli Chana chaat is now ready. This should serve about 3-4 to four people. If you enjoy it, please subscribe to India Food Network. And if you have any feedback or comments to share, please write in to me. We've got loads more for you, so subscribe to this channel and ping us at food at pingnetwork.in to tell us what you would like to see here.